what 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 is up oh, man i was just thinking about that you know welcome to app stupid it's your boy big Vern coming to you live from the app stupid studios app like you got some sense smash the like and subscribe button we like it when you do that take a minute and follow us on all of our socials and if you're digging the content and i hope you're sharing it you want to fund the madness directly hit us up in the cash app at vern dollars that is vern dollars vern d-o-l-l-a-z got a good show for you lined up today shiloh sanders now he is the son of Dion sanders he files for bankruptcy protections bum 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 we'll read that and then we'll talk about the nba draft and how trash the nba draft is when guys are openly bailing on the nba draft and going back to college bum 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 then we got more goofiness from the association where Brian Keith is now the coach at Washington after they released Mr. Unsell Jr. Those stories and many more on an action-packed Friday here at App Stupid. We'll be back when we take a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. Drop the spot. Yes, BK, have it your way. You rule. Download the app, order online, or visit the good folks at your local Burger King. Okay, gonna start here with some news about Shiloh Sanders. And he's in, uh, he's actually seeking bankruptcy protections. Now this comes from Christopher Kamari out of The Athletic. If you don't have an athletic subscription, hope you subscribe so there was a texas judgment uh against him for 12 million for an assault on the dallas high school security guard and so that's what got me to being like what not shallow and i think the story had popped up once or twice but the security guard had damages to his cervical spine and he has neurological issues and now this is going back to 2015 not only did sanders not show up to trial what i mean if i'm innocent and some guy is saying that i've done damage to his spine and um, he's also having brain issues now because I put my hands on him and then they order a trial date you go to court you go to court and it's not like he didn't have the money look who his daddy is must be the money <laughs> uh, not only did Sanders not show up to trial he claimed he couldn't afford a lawyer Really? Dude, your dad was a broadcaster for the NFL Network. Your dad is a retired Hall of Famer in the NFL. Especially in the state of Texas. Your dad is one of the most recognizable figures in that state. And you're saying that you couldn't afford an attorney? Oh my goodness. Well, he couldn't afford a lawyer. Claims he didn't know about the default judgment until 2023. Really? So let me get this straight. Not only did you ditch court, you thought this whole thing went away. Because that's what happens when one side doesn't show up to court. They automatically award a judgment to the person who's seeking damages against you. I can't believe nobody advised this kid. I can't believe Deion Sanders 
never sat his son down and, and explained to him, hey, look, if you're in trouble, I need to know. Whatever this is, I need to know. It wasn't anything that happened in the secrets. I'm just sitting there saying it. I mean, yeah, son, we'll get you a lawyer. Sanders, previous lawyer, stopped, respe- uh, stopped representing him when he was told by Shiloh he couldn't pay him. That doesn't make sense to me. So you had a lawyer. It wasn't that you didn't have a lawyer. You had a lawyer. That guy was doing the work. He was filing motions. He was meeting with the other. He was meeting against co-counsel. But when you said you couldn't pay him, that's when he stopped representing you. Come on now. I don't But This is weird. Another weird caveat, Sanders' lawyer this week filed a motion to seal 21 count records dating back to 2017 citing sensitive and confidential information what could that be about what could that be about this dude is now trying to seal some of the counts that was levied against him going back to 2017 and this incident So now he's got a lawyer. He couldn't afford a lawyer back then, but now he's got a lawyer. (sighs) This whole thing is kind of weird because it's not one way or the other. Again, I'm looking at this article and Christopher Kamari, it's asking some really, really valid questions, but it's not all one way. And it doesn't skew one way because John Darjean is the security guard who sat down with Jason Whitlock and told his side of the story who alleged someone from the school stole evidence and gave it to his father, Deion Sanders. Why? Why would they do that? There is no reason to do anything like that. And we're talking about the age of cell phones. We're talking about the age of video surveillance everywhere so someone stole the footage and gave it to Deion Sanders and I just had a question is Darjean a grifter that's a fair question that's a fair question and the reason I asked that question because TMZ has the video TMZ is kind of (laughs) like I don't know what these dudes They have every video of everybody doing anything wrong anywhere. They have to be some sort of government agency. But TMZ had the video of the altercation before it started to crack off. It shows Darjean grab Sanders arm. That's an act of aggression. I don't care who you are, especially high school, as contentious as high school is, if you have a security guard, And this guy is on the phone doing what have you. And you walk up and you yank a kid's arm. You're going to have something to deal with, especially if this dude is an athlete or perceives some sort of popular figure. Things could get very contentious very fast. Then you see a scuffle in the distance. All over the self. and and, And I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute. What was this about? This was all over a cell phone call to his mom. Seriously, all of this transpired because he used his cell phone to call his mom. You grab a guy over a phone call and you got them hands. He put them paws on you. Again, I'm not sitting here saying that this is correct. I'm not sitting here saying this behavior is tolerated, but you can clearly see as an act of aggression if you grab somebody's arm. And who's going to go ahead and dispute somebody calling their mother? I mean, for real. If I was in a situation, they say, hey, look, man, you need to call your mom. Okay, cool bust out a phone call to my mom. I'm probably one of the uh, people on a small list. I talk to my mom every day, sometimes two and three times a day on the phone. 
but I've never seen any kind of, you know, act of aggression because this kid pulled out a cell phone to call his mom. Now, Darjean and Deion Sanders actually know each other from the 90s because Darjean was some sort of pitcher. And this was all in the, the Yankee era and everything. And he felt like Deion should have called him. He should have checked on him and he should have, you know, did something for old time's sake. I don't know what Darjean's whole problem is, but Deion Sanders didn't owe you that. And Darjean tried to sue Dion, Pilar, and Shiloh in 2016. However, Dion was removed from the lawsuit in 2019. Darjean also filed for a defamation suit in 2017, and that was dismissed as well. And Dion Sanders calls Darjean a real-life grifter. Now, obviously... If you and Dion were playing sports, big time sports in the 90s, you fell on hard times, he kept elevating. There might be some contempt there, I get it, but there's also this weird thing where, hey look, this guy tried to sue me, not once, not twice, but three times. These suits have been dismissed, I've been removed from lawsuits, and it's just not making any sense. Now, Shiloh, he's told the judges that he doesn't have the money to make the payments of the things that were filed against him. That's why he was seeking bankruptcy protections. But when you're but when you are riding around in a Mercedes Benz, you're doing all these NIL deals and you're doing all these sponsorship deals, that's going to be kind of like, eh, I think you're trying to skirt the system. Again, none of this would have happened had he went to court. So, again, just a whole weird situation. The tape is showing that Darjean grabbed Shiloh by the arm, slung him around. Then Dar it's showing that the scuffle took place when things happened. Darjean is, like I said, when he went on Jason Whitlock and started saying that the people at the school got the tape and gave it to Deion Sanders. That, if that's the case, how did TMZ get it? Come on, man. I mean, there's so many holes in that story, but there's also like, hey, why didn't you tell your kid to go to court? Why didn't your kid appear in court? If he didn't want a judgment, he should have showed up. And it's not like he didn't have a lawyer. Shiloh had a lawyer. He just he stopped paying him and he told him he couldn't pay him. So I don't know what any, like I said, this is just one of those he said, she said. But when it spills over and you get the eye grabbing headline that Deion Sanders kid is filing for bankruptcy. It'll, like I said, it might be more smoke there than fire. But I could be wrong. We still got a lot of show. Got a lot of show. This is Big Vern at App Stupid. We just going to keep rocking.